Over a short period of time, brick and concrete manholes may deteriorate due to exposure to wastewater gases such as hydrogen sulfide. In most cases, it is not necessary to replace a deteriorated concrete or brick manhole. Our fiberglass liners are corrosion free and are not affected by common wastewater gases. LFM's fiberglass manhole liners are available in diameters from 36 inches through 168 inches or 14 feet. We recommend using a fiberglass manhole liner which is 6 inches smaller in diameter than the existing structure. This type of manhole can be slip lined with minimal excavation. In doing this, first remove the reducer section from the existing 48 inch deteriorated manhole. Clean the loose debris from the surface of the old manhole and make cutouts in the 42 inch fiberglass manhole liner. Place the fiberglass manhole liner in the center of the old manhole. Grout the inside of the fiberglass manhole liner at the bottom around the incoming pipe and bench area. Pour concrete grout in the annular space between the old manhole and the new fiberglass manhole liner. Install the grade rings and ring and cover and properly backfill. The result is the new 42 inch fiberglass manhole. LFM fiberglass wet wells can withstand years of exposure to the most severe conditions within a wastewater system. This is a watertight, freestanding fiberglass lift station with a fiberglass reinforced bottom and a fiberglass top cut to fit a standard aluminum hatch. All incoming PVC lines were fiberglassed into the wall of the lift station, making the installation completely non-corrosive. The finished product looks like a normal lift station installation. LFM builds fiberglass wet wells to your specific dimensions with standard diameters from 24 inches through 15 and a half feet. Depths are available from 2 feet through 40 feet. Greater depths can be custom fabricated. LFM also incorporates a ribbed wall system into wet wells requiring added strength. This wet well was installed in San Antonio, Texas using the following basic installation guidelines. Prepare the excavation in a normal manner. Measure and cut holes for any existing pipes. Next, pour the concrete base and set the wet well. Use the provided lifting lugs to lift the wet well. Finally, backfill to engineer's specifications using a moderately compacted sand or crushed stone. The backfill should be added evenly in one foot lifts. Over a short period of time, Precast concrete wet wells may deteriorate due to exposure to wastewater gases such as hydrogen sulfide. LFM can custom build fiberglass wet well liners for existing wet wells from 36 inches in diameter through 168 inches. LFM's fiberglass wet well liners are designed to meet the requirements of ASTM specification D3753. When installing a fiberglass wet well liner, remove the top of the deteriorated wet well and slip the fiberglass wet well liner into the old wet well. Scribe the contour of the bottom of the wet well onto the inside wall of the fiberglass liner. Use a circular saw with a carbide grit blade to cut the fiberglass liner. Normally the wet well liner is six inches smaller than the old wet well. Place the fiberglass liner in the center of the old wet well and pour concrete grout into the annular space between the two wet well walls and replace the top of the wet well. 